Being a handball referee means quite a lot to me. It is actually who I am. Also, it's something I enjoy doing, so it's my passion as well. For me, after 12 years being a handball referee, handball become a part of my life. Definitely handball provides me a constant mental and physical challenges. Before a big game in the morning, I'll feel excited. I guess I feel like a bride feels in the morning on a wedding day. For me, what is helpful really to follow our rituals uh, during that day on that match. Nothing uh, to add what is not our common ritual. And our routine is uh, pretty simple. Breakfast in the morning, uh, afterwards, so we usually have mental preparation with our coach. We have been working two years now, like continuously having our mental coach. So it's uh, something I would really stress as uh, the most, the most really important thing. When it matters the most, it's uh, this what is the most helpful. During the big competitions like this Euro, we work a lot with people in charge for the referees. So usually in the morning we have technical meetings. These meetings and sessions are something we need to fit into our routine. During almost every meeting is the same topic, what was uh, good, not what was bad, but what we should improve on the next matches just for the future to know this, these things or this specific situation uh, could be handled in a different way. Always it's a progressive line, like how to be better on the next match. Usually we have our lunch four hours before the match and try to have at least 30 minutes power nap. Me personally, I like to have things in order. Like every single uh, pen or a sock in my room has to be on its place. This European Championship is uh, really a short way from the hotel to the hall, so uh, basically we are just in our heads <laughs> and just, mm, I don't know, thinking about anything else but the match because the match is really uh, something we, we had a lot of focus before, so this short time before the match is just uh, something like relaxing in the car. When we arrive to the arena, the first thing we do is to find our locker room and take our bags there. Afterwards, which is one hour, five minutes before the match starts, we need to meet the team officials in front of the HF office and do the coin toss so the teams know on which side they are beginning the, their match. We warm up uh, 30, 25 minutes before the match. The overall warm up is really important, yeah, of course, for injury prevention, but also to prepare our bodies for specific referee movements. Also, it's not just about bringing our bodies, but also our minds into the um, alert mode to focus. The warm-up is our first contact with the court, with the crowd, with the players, uh, with everyone actually. Seconds before I go to the court, I'm already in the match and in my head I have a list of things which I must fulfill before I start the match. Maybe the most important thing that I've found out during this our career is to just be positive about the match. I will enjoy it, I will give my best and uh, after the match has finished I want to feel good and that's what's most helpful for me. It's uh, impossible to be 100% uh, without any pressure. Pressure sometimes is very good because they, they keep you concentrated, focused.
during the half time we never speak about uh, the match uh, what was bad or we just spoke what we need, need to improve during the next the second half At the very end of the match, I will just enjoy it. Meet with Vesna in the middle of the court, shake hands, show support to each other, shake hands with the team officials and uh, enjoy the moment. After the match, <laughs> depends how good we was. If it was great or good, we celebrate and uh, singing. But sometimes, like everybody, we had a bad days and we had a bad time in the, in the locker room after the match. So, But we survived all this.